one of my friend asked me that he got some recommendations from solar wind team that uh, they need to enable a uh, query optimizer or fix okay so uh, and he asked me what is that what happen if we enable that either we can enable or not so he asked so many doubts so let me ex uh, let me explain what is query optimizer fix so before 2016 i am talking about if you uh, after initialing you see you or any hot fixes so in our every hot fixes we have some improvements right in order to use that improvements we need to use 4199 trace flags for the optimizer if we directly use that some might queries effective or not uh, like we don't know how it, it will be right right so if, in order to know the consequences first we will enable that in test environment later on if based on the output received we can implement the same in the production as well yeah. but this has been changed okay uh, from sql server 2016 onwards if the all are like features are compatibility if if you change the compatibility to the uh, like to 130 whatever the fixes that in been there it will be used by the optimizer okay so for coming from 2016 if you want to use the latest feature you just you change the compatibility to 130 or above so then the optimizer will use all the fixes and the improvements that has been added in the to the what the CPU uh, CU that you have installed and currently it, uh, it has been by database scope uh, like uh, it is separate uh, if you want to enable one, one database you can enable one database I mean talking about the in the lower versions in the lower versions if you don't want to enable but you have to use that for one query let that the, uh, be this is also available as a query hint enable query optimizer of opti uh, optimizer hot fixes so if i use this okay you will get the data as well okay so the, uh, this we can use also for query hints but uh, later uh, from 2016 onwards if the compatibility is 130 then no need to worry at all no need to consider this option so in order to avoid that as a recommendation solar winds so if you enable uh, this option using this query this is the current data scope means we are running on the adventure work 2019 right so if you enable that doesn't matter okay well, if my database is already having uh, like i'm using currently 2022 okay it means i can use the optimizer uh, all the hot fixes that been been there install so if you want to do that graphically go to any database properties go to options here we can enable that query optimizer okay this option you can just turn it on click press ok if you want to do that graphically and if you want to use it in query you can use this like this okay you are uh, option use query and uh, enable optimizer so this is all in the interview you can say that from 2016 onwards if you use compatibility level uh, to the 130 or above then we no need to consider this option set to on or off okay it doesn't matter it will use that in the lower versions you have if you want to use that functionality then this database code is very helpful for you i hope uh, you got the logic and it may you may get this uh, question in the interview as well i hope uh, you may like my initiative thank you